Hey everyone, welcome back for more EXO Zeros content. Today's video, we're going to discuss FC Mahar's Hero Guide, his stats, skills, playability, recommended Guardian Stones, synergy with other heroes, overall rating, and my final thoughts. But before that, if you want to see more EXO Zeros content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Recently, we all received a login gift for the first year Korea launch that uh, EXO's Heroes had. So one of the gifts that they gave out was a, an, a fate core for FC Mahar or for Mahar. So for this video, we're, I'm going to try to help you guys um, maximize her in terms of gameplay, in terms of how to use her and how or where she is effective at. But to start off, uh, we're here at her hero profile. So her nation is Brun. Her element is Machine. Her position is Defense and her attack type is Physical. I'm not sure why they classified her as Brun because her, her signature force is under FC Rachel. So I, I'm not sure if they just changed it now or, or, if, or if it was Brun before. So you move on to her strengths. For strengths, she has above average HP, she has high defense, she has average hit, and she has high block. For her weakness, she has low attack, low dodge, low crit hit, and low attack speed. So she is typically a tank, um, a defender in which she doesn't deal that much damage, but she absorbs a lot of damage or she absorbs a lot of hits so for fc mahar's skill so we'll we'll take a look at her passive first so she has block three in which she has uh provoke so provoke is is uh, like taunting her enemies to attack her and she also has dragonite blessing and head dragon knight uh, together with her passive. This is actually also present in her regular form, but for her FC, uh, Barrier of Will was added. So triggers when 70% or more of own health is taken at once, so it can't be removed. Let's wait for it to come back. I don't know why they do this. Reduces all received damage, including current damage by 50%. And again, the last paragraph. Let's wait for it. For two turns, increase all damage received by two turns by, I think that was 30%. So, um, Head Dragon Knight increases her toughness as well, her survivability, in order for her to, to, to receive more damage uh, from the enemies and taunting them to attack her. Let's move on to her S1. So, her S1 is Thunderbolt. So... Um, let's let me discuss first the the previous incarnation of this one for her regular form. So for her regular form, her S one is deals one hundred two percent damage to all enemies. It's also one mana. So the this one, the new skill Thunderbolt, is half of that. It also deals damage to all enemies, but it has a trigger for provoke for three turns, which is good because you you need to you need to be able to issue that provoke as soon as the first turn arrives so once um most probably she will be the last person to act in your team so but before the turn ends uh and before the se second uh, round begins um all of your enemies are already provoked so and also she also uh, receives a damage reflect to self for 12 turns when the skill hits so it's important as well that she has a high hit or you maintain her average hit for the, for the skill to deal damage and to have damage reflect on FC Mahar. For her S2, so inviting a Thunderbolt, so it's still 262% damage to one enemy, same as the previous incarnation of Mahar, but this one adds a decreased defense of target by 50, 57% of own defense for eight turns she already has a high defense 
um, all you need to do is improve it through stats, through her stats, through her gears, and through other forms of improvement so that she could give uh, or she, she could decrease the defense more of enemies across um, across the field. So there has been a lot of, not a lot, but kind of a significant change and in terms of her usability versus before so right now she can be she can be used um, um, she can be used really um, especially by newer players that don't have that that much FC um, she is actually and can be used by mid game players as well if they don't have enough um, FCs um, in their roster and she she's, she's kind of decent the only problem with her is that um, if your opponents have a lot of AOE damage dealers uh, your provoke would would not really be uh, be effective so that's her limitation for her skills before I proceed guys um, just a friendly reminder please help support my channel by subscribing and clicking the subscribe button so we're here now at her playability so FC Mahar is playable in PvP but mostly in PvP tag only if you don't have that much um, heroes on your roster she can be viable uh, for PvP tag because again there are a lot of AoE damage dealers in PvP and PvP tag so you have to really choose the team or you have to choose a matchup that would best um, best be good for her so that she can exploit her provoke uh, s1 and her passive as well she is actually good in pve so for the chapters so she could be very good in the mobs and luring them to attack her she is also good in Holy Dragon Grounds for Machine Day uh, because of her passives. So and where and she is also good in situations where you can put status effects on bosses. So here you are at her recommended Guardian Stones. So I would recommend only two sets for her. So first and foremost. If you really want to increase her defense because of her S2 skill, definitely you should go with the Frost set because for the equip set effects, she's going to have a plus in her block and once you awaken her with the Frost set, she will get a maximum plus 700 defense which is a big plus uh, for her S2 skill. The other one that I would um, recommend as well is the fire set effect so for equip set effects she will get a maximum of plus 20 percent damage reduction and she will also get a maximum of plus 5000 for awaken set effect once you awaken her with the fire set effects or fire set as for synergy with other heroes pretty much fc mahar goes with 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 any team she doesn't have a specific team build um she actually her main function with any team is to draw attention of the enemies so you should spam her s1 skill so increase survivability with barrier will and she is also a disruptor in terms of the flow of casting skills because if your enemies mostly are for single target enemies and you cast uh, provoke then um, she will really disrupt the way your enemies are attacking so for my overall rating so one being the lowest and five being the highest so for in terms of stats she is rated as a four because she is really built for what what her purpose is is to be a defender to absorb damage she has good defense she has good block she has good hp um, she is meant to protect her team so um, that that I would give her a 4 for playability in terms of content um, she shines with a few content but not a lot um, uh, not in your main PvP team 
uh, and also in the content uh, there's only the dragon and uh, the chapters that I'm really recommending her for you to use but she can be used in other content it really re again it would really depend on on what heroes do you have in your roster so if you have her i'm sure you most of you guys have her now so you can use her really in 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 some content but uh there are a few that i recommend her on so also for synergy so i would give her a three because of her limitation in terms of aoe the meta right now is heavy on aoe and um and her provoke skill is not really effective in terms of aoe enemies so that is why i gave her a three so my final thoughts so she really needs her fc to create an impact um, she doesn't have uh, uh she doesn't have any use uh if you only have her regular form so she also has limited use in terms of content again depending on what type of heroes you have on your roster and but she will get the job done as a tank and defender except for aoe so anyway guys if you have any comments um on this video please put it down in the comment section um i do hope that you all are safe uh and well with your family this is the warden i'm out